for today, I am going to discuss a bit about the antibody structure. And it is a small topic lang naman. And um, uh, para lang ma-jumpstart natin yung mga live video tutorials na binabala kong gawin for the future. Um, for today, again, our topic will be um, antibody structure. Okay, so let's start. No, ang, sabi, ang sinasabi natin na structure of antibodies, uh, intindihin natin yan in a while, pero sa ngayon, i-define muna natin ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng word na antibody. Okay? Um, antibody is a, um, a glycoprotein substance, right? It's a glycoprotein substance that is um, produced by plasma cells in response to the presence of certain antigens. Okay? Produced by plasma cells in response to certain antigens. And antigens are considered by the body as foreign materials. Alright? So, bakit ba natin kailangan mag-produce ng antibodies? Bakit ba kailangan uh, i-release ito ng ating mga um, plasma cells? Well, our antibodies will have the function of um, recognizing these foreign materials and eventually eliminating them. Okay, if they if they are uh, harmful to our body, in which case, lahat ng uh, halos lahat ng antigens eh ganun, no? Uh, yung mga immunogenic antigens eh na kapag um, trigger ng immune response, eh, di magpaproduce ang ating plasma cells ng mga antibodies. Okay? Antibodies are the main humoral component of our adaptive immune system. Adaptive immune system is also known as the acquired or the um, specific um, immune system. Di ba? Meron tayong dalawang branches of immunity. Right? And again, the function is to recognize and elim uh, eliminate antigens. Okay, so our topic for today, no, ang, ang, ang gusto natin maintindihan for today will be the structure of antibodies itself. Alright, so uh, paano ba natin yung gagawin? So let's have another page here. Okay, then um, siguro uh, gusto ko sana na meron kang sarili mong papel no, para uh, sabayan mo kung mag-drawing ng antibody structure. Okay, so we will start with um, making a letter Y na magkahiwalay. Okay, let's start um, on this side, right? And then another Y on this side na magkahiwalay, right? And then sa ating um, Y na to, no, mag uh, go, magdagdag pa tayo ng half Y sa labas. Okay? And then let us label our, um, our drawing. Ito pong nasa labas, lalagyan natin ng letter L which stands for the light chains, no? Sa isang antibody structure, meron po tayo yung dalawang light chains. Ganon din po sa ating um, um, bigger letter Y would be the heavy chains, no? Dalawa rin ang ating, ang ating heavy chains sa isang antibody structure, okay? So, we have two light chains and we have two heavy chains, alright? So, yung L and H dyan, alam na natin ibig sabihin yan, Okay? Ang ating mga light chains po ay may dalawang klase. Pwede po silang maging kapa. Pwede rin silang maging lambda. Okay? Pero never sila, uh, hindi pwede sila pwedeng um, uh, magkasabay. No? Sa isang antibody, dapat isa lang. Kung baga sa virus, you're either a DNA or you're an RNA virus. And dito rin po, sa light chains ng ating antibodies, it's either kapa or lambda. Okay? Well, the heavy chains po natin, ang heavy chains po natin ay may lima. No? Yus, uh, gagamitin natin yung order na gamde kasi ito po yung order po na pwede natin gamitin para matandaan kung sino sa kanila ang may pinakamadaming concentration sa blood hanggang sa pinakakonte. So, that means, um, kapag ang heavy chain mo ay gamma, okay, ikaw ay si IgG, if ang heavy chain mo ay si alpha, ikaw ay si IgA, Mu, Delta, and Epsilon, and so on and so forth. Okay, in other words, ang ating uh, antibodies ay pinapangalanan natin based on the heavy chain that they have. Okay, based on the heavy chain that they carry. Okay, again, there are five types of heavy chains. Gamma, Alpha, Mu, Delta, Epsilon. And again, they will be called IgG, IgA, IgM, IgD, and IgE. Um, depending on the heavy chain na nakuha ng isang antibody. Alright? Ito pong pinag-aaralan natin to. 
Okay, mamaya punta ka kita natin. Gagawa lang ko na isa pang um, page dito. Alright? Para lang ma-recognize natin yung dalawang tao, no? Pinaka-main people we have to think because uh, of elucidating the structure of the antibodies. Okay, sulat lang natin kung sino-sino sila. Sila ay si na Mr. Gerald Edelman. Okay, and Rodney Porter. Mr. Rodney Porter. Porter. Okay, si Gerald Edelman po ang gumamit ng ultra centrifugation samantalang si Rodney Porter ay gumamit ng enzyme na papain para ma-elucidate yung antibody structure. Pareho po silang gumamit ng IgG bilang kanilang prototype na antibody um, uh, na inaaral. Alright? And they found out that the so, I demand co uh, sediment coefficient of IgG is 7S. Okay? So, we have to remember these two names here. Edelman and si Mr. Porter. Okay? So, sila ang dalawa nating uh, scientists na nakapag-start mag-elucidate na antibody structure. Okay? So, going back to our drawing, no? Lagyan naman natin ngayon ng uh, linya, no? Sa may bandang uh, taas. Okay? Para mahati ang ating um, light chains and heavy chains into domains. Okay? Itong mga domains na to ay tinatawag nating variable and um, constant region. Okay? So, ito pong nasa taas. Lahat ito, lalagyan natin ng letter V as in variable. Okay? At itong mga nasa baba ay letter C as in constant. Okay? So, that whenever you see uh, a symbol uh, that says V subscript letter L, that means that, that is the variable region of the light chain. Okay? Pag, sin pag nakakita ka ng variable region, uh, VH, that means the variable region of the heavy chain. Okay? And so is this one. Kasi nga, tig dalawang heavy chain, tig dalawang light chain, no? So this will be also the variable region of the heavy chain and the vari variable region of the light chain. So pag sinabi po natin variable, nag-iiba-iba. Alright? And so, kung meron tayong part na nag-iiba-iba, meron din naman tayong part na uh, constant. Okay? So, that's, uh, the, that, that letter C stands for our constant region. So, whenever we see a letter C with a subscript L, then that means constant region of the light chain, constant region of the heavy chain, heavy chain, and light chain. Kaya lang, kung mapapansin mo, no, mas mahaba kasi yung, yung heavy chain kasi sa light chain. And so, ito pong... Um, uh, constant region ng heavy chain ay nakakating pa sa tatlong bahagi. No? Meron tayong CH1, meron tayong CH2, and meron din tayong CH3. Okay? Kasi, mahaba siya. Right? Compared to the length of our light chains. Alright? Okay, so this should be CH2. Okay, let me just erase this one and uh, change it to CH2. What pen am I using? Is this it? <laughs> Okay? So, ano po ang um, um, importance na alam natin kung ano yung variable region and sa constant region. Okay? So, kailangan natin alamin kung anong pinagkaiba ng variable region sa constant region. So, again, this will be our variable region. Okay? And this will be our constant regions. Okay? Um, this will be our constant regions. Okay? Our variable regions... Alright, will contain one part of the um, light chain and another part coming from the heavy chain. Okay, so meron tayong contribution from the light chain and the heavy chain. And this part here is um, important because they form the so-called antigen recognition unit. Okay, antigen recognition unit. They are able to bind specific antigens in that area. Okay, and then the constant region, especially in this portion, ang mga nangyayari dyan ay yung iba't ibang biologic functions, okay, such as um, agglutination, complement fixation, etc. Okay, so what else do we need to know? Uy, dahil a glycoprotein ang ating antibody, no, meron din siyang terminal, okay, na... Kumbaga, sa symbol ng protein, no, maaari natin matandaan sa pamamagitan ng letters C, H, O, N. I usually do this so that I can remember that the carboxy terminal is in this end. No? Sa carboxy terminal, makikita ang mga constant regions. And sa amino terminal, 
Alright? Sa amin na terminal, makikita ang mga variable regions. Okay? So, mahalaga yun, no? Pag tinanong ka, anong end or terminal end nakikita ang variable regions and constant regions, um, again, pakitandaan, amino terminal, makikita ang ating variable regions, while in the carboxy terminal, makikita ang ating um, constant regions. Okay? What else do we need to know? Uy, dito pala sa gitna, no, may tinatawag tayong hinge region. Okay, usual question coming from this um, um, topic is that saan daw ba nakikita yung tinatawag nating hinge region? Well, the answer there will be it's between CH1 and CH2. Okay, it is between CH1 and CH2 and we all know kung ano na yung ibig sabihin ng CH1 and CH2. So, let me just remind you again that CH1 and CH2 means constant region heavy chain part 1 and constant region heavy chain part 2. Alright? Okay, so, ano po yung purpose ng hinge region? No? Sabi po sa ating mga libro, no, ma, ma, ma rich daw ito sa amino acid na protein and the function is for, uh, for allowing flexibility. Okay, ito pala ang nag allow ng antibodies natin para maging flexible sila, para makapag-allow ng multiple binding of antigens and uh, such. Okay, and again, the importance of that is knowing the location is between CH1 and CH2. Alright? Alright, so medyo magulo na yung drawing natin, no? So, again, pwede mo siguro akong sabayan ulit na gumawa ng isa pang drawing, no? Ulitin lang po natin. Sabi natin, para makapag-drawing tayo ng antibody structure, gagawa tayo ng letter Y na magkahiwalay. And itong kompletong letter Y will be our heavy chains, right? And then, nadagdagan natin sa labas ng half Y, okay, representing our light chains. We said all that is above, above the... The chains here will be our variable regions, right? And all that will be below the lines that we will be putting here will be our constant regions. Okay, so let us label them again. Alright, your heavy chain, your light chain, constant region of the light chain, CH1, CH2, and CH3. Okay, so tinanggal lang natin yung mga iba pang unnecessary items kanina. No? Pero babanggitin ko rin yun pag malapit na tayo mag-wrap up. Okay, another thing that you need to know, again, this will be where the hinge region is. Okay, will be the the bond. Okay, what makes the antibody structure, um, uh, what holds the antibody structure together. Okay, all throughout this antibody structure that we're talking about will be two sulfur, um, molecules bound to each other. Okay? So, ito po yung tinatawag nating disulfide bonds. Okay? Kaya pag tinanong ka, ano po um, bonds, types of bonds, well, there are other um, types of bonds, but the main bond na tinatandaan natin that holds the, the antibody structure together would be the disulfide bonds. Okay? It will be all over the antibody structure holding it together. Okay, so meron dyan, meron dyan, meron dyan all throughout the antibody structure. Alright? And um, I think this is the, the last uh, thing that we need to know about the antibody. Okay? Ano, to, ano yung portion yung tinatawag nating FAB? Okay? At anong portion yung tinatawag nating FC? Alright? So here, ito pong first box natin will be our FAB region. Okay? Uh, FAB, by the way, stands for Fragment Capable of Antigen Binding. So that, again, the purpose of this region will be for antigen binding. Since it contains, diba, sabi natin kanina, the variable regions of light chain and heavy chain um, functioning as the antigen recognition, recognition unit. Okay? So, pag tinanong tayo, oy, ano po ang laman ng isang FAB fragment? Ang sabot po natin, isa pong part ng light chain, right? Right? No, ito po yung light chain, no? One whole light chain and half of the heavy chain. So, one one whole of the light chain and one half of the heavy chain. That is the composition of the FAB fragment. Okay? How about the FC fragment? The FC fragment only contains the heavy chains, right? This is your FC fragment. And as you can see, these are the only things here. The heavy chain. So, ang laman ng, F, ng FC region po natin ay two halves, okay? Two halves yung kalahate ng ating heavy chain, uh, ng ating heavy chain, okay? Two halves of heavy chain. It only contains the heavy chain, while the FAB region contains both the light chain and half of the heavy chain, okay? By the way, FC stands for fragment, 
that is crystallizable okay because it, it has the ability to crystallize spontaneously all right and it has no antigen binding ability um dahil siya ay nasa carboxy terminal as we have mentioned kanina no ang purpose ni fc region would be biological a complement fixation agglutination etc all right um this one here no hindi lang natin binox again uh, kanina this is also another fob. So, sa isang antibody structure, meron po tayong dalawang um, fob. Okay? Dalawang fragment of antigen binding na domain. Okay? So, I think we have exhausted everything. So, let me just recap you with what we have talked about. So, sabi natin kanina, ang ating topic for tonight would be antibody structure. It's a simple topic just to jumpstart our uh, live tutorials for the next days to come. Okay? Antibody is a glycoprotein substance, also known by the way as immunoglobulins. Okay? Immunoglobulins natin yan. Produced by our plasma cells whenever we are exposed to antigens which are considered as foreign materials by our body. Okay, and as uh, the function of antibodies will be to um, recognize and eliminate these foreign materials. And uh, uh, again, we have two people to thank for for elucidating the structure of antibodies. These are Mr. and Sir Gerald Edelman, Sir Rodney Porter, who both use IgG. Okay, but both um, uh, these people use different uh, methods. Gerald Edelman used ultracentrifugation while um, Sir Rodney Porter um, utilized the papain enzyme. Okay? And again, so um, just to recap everyone with the structure of antibodies, we will have two heavy chains and two light chains in each antibody. Okay? And the light chains may be made up of either kappa or lambda, but never the same or never uh, both on the same antibody. Okay? It's either kappa or lambda. Heavy chains are of five types. It can be gamma, alpha, mu, delta, or epsilon. And again, the name of the antibody will depend on the heavy chain that they carry. Alright? We have IgG, IgA, IgM, IgD, IgE, depending on the heavy chain that they have. Okay? Both um, chains are present in an antibody structure. So again, we have two heavy chains, two light chains. Sa, la sa taas po nitong mga... Uh, chains na to, we have the variable regions, okay? And sa baba, ito po yung constant regions. Ito pong variable regions ay nakikita sa uh, amino terminal end, while the, car the constant regions are found in the carboxy terminal end. In between CH1 and CH2, we have the hinge region, okay? Which is rich in proline, which um, allows for flexibility of our antibodies, okay? And again, we have... Um, disulfide bonds, alright, all throughout the antibody structure holding it together, holding the structure together, alright? And then, finally, the domains of FAB and frag, uh, FC fragments, okay? FAB stands for fragment of antigen binding and its purpose is to bind the antigens and in one antibody structure, you have two FABs, okay? And it contains one light chain and half one half of the heavy chain well the fc region it's the in the lower portion it's um it only contains the constant regions of the heavy chains okay and it contains the two halves of the um heavy chain okay and function ng ating fc fragment is to um uh, help in complement fixation or other biologic functions such as oxonization, placental transfer, and etc. Alright, so if you have questions, kasi medyo um, test, but, uh, but, nagtetest lang ako ng YouTube live no, for discussion, but uh, I'm I'm still going to check if this is okay. If not, uulitin ko to sa, uh, sa, sa Facebook. Okay, but if you have questions or you have topics in mind that, that you want to uh, you want to um, send me Maybe we can talk about it in the next live tutorial. Okay, just send me a message through my um, uh, Facebook account or um, visit, visit uh, chrisoamonnotes.com for downloadable notes. Alright, thank you everyone for staying and watching and um, I wish you all a good night. God bless everyone.